Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are back again with another video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. So today we're going to share with you the costs of material that we have used so far on this project because someone has asked if we could share this. So there's a lot involved um, in this project. We're just going to share with you the cost of the material that we have used up to the slab level for today. Yes, yes, and yes. Then, so thank you very much and welcome to our channel and thank you for following us. We're going to discuss with you the cost of material that we have used up to the slab level only. Um, as you know that it is so demanding to do the building, there are a lot of things that are involved. We're going to try to briefly give you what we can so that you can have a rough idea of what we are talking about. Right, I'm just going to begin by uh, talking about I mean, the cost of material that we used for the footing level. The footing level involves the, the, the digging of the trenches. Yes, as we're talking about the digging of these trenches. And then we had to look for stones and river sand. And we also managed to buy things like the deformed bars. But for the footing and slab, we, uh, we have used about 190 bags of cement. And this costed us about $1,900. And for the stones that we we looked for, we bought uh, 20 tons of stones and they costed us $1,400. There's a river sand which we also bought, which uh, was also 20 tons and that one costed about $210. Finally, for the deformed bars that we used there, and the other small utilities, it costed up about $2,800. Now moving on to the box, which is part of the slab, we bought 13,000 standard common cement bricks, and this costed us $1,820. Okay, we, we, we're going to move on. There, there's a pit sand that we, we was used for for building the box. Uh, it costed us about one hundred and fifty dollars for that pit sand that we used. Also, there are small utilities such as the brick force and dam course that we bought again. Those were not that much, but they were uh, they costed us one hundred and seventy also have back filling back filling where we need uh, loads of gravel yes yes i remember this stage it, mm. it, it really stressed us a lot yeah. because after after building the box uh, we, we, we were told that we there was a need to to fill those boxes so the gravel that was needed to put inside uh, we had to look for it somewhere else, so it costed us quite a lot to bring that gravel. It, it was about $1,600 just to bring the gravel inside the boxes to fill those boxes mm. so that the builders will start to uh, do what they do, what they call the back filling and, and so on. So we, we used about 1600 to fill the boxes only. Yes, and we also have transport, transport for all these things. I think it went up to 300, isn't it? Yes, yes it was about mm. 300 and something to bring the, the material to the ground. And the total cost of the material that we have used up to this slab level only, it costed us $10,350. Yes, and we also have labor on top of that. Labor, labor was $3,000, I think. Yeah, yes, the labor that, that, that uh, they required was $3,000 for everything they did up to this uh, slab level. So, in overall, we can say the, 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 the 
total cost of the material and the labor up to uh, the slab, slab level. level, it was 13,350. On the footing stage, we included the deformed bars because it was advised that if we intend to use concrete tiles as roofing, a strong foundation was required. Yeah, this is all we have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family. See you on our next video. Bye.